Hi my friends, today we model this part which is uh, the thermostat body with this uh, drawing. We start by creating this uh, uh, revolution volume, diameter 50, height 18, Diameter 30, total 85. Let's do this. New standard millimeters IPT. New sketch. XY plane. And we draw a vertical line of 85. Now we have a measure, physical measure here, and we can create a well scaled sketch. You see. I try to respect somehow the dimensions. This is 50, this is 18, 30. Finish sketch, revolve. Okay, we continue with uh, this volume. It is placed at 5 millimeters from the plane up and it has dimensions of 90, 15 and 30. This 30 is identical with diameter 30 and the thickness is 26. We create this contour. Plane from here down minus 5. Here is the base for the sketch. F7 I project this geometry then I draw a vertical line left, up, right, left you see the collinearity here and I go here but this must be vertical and also tangent these two are equal now I have the symmetry and this is 90 and 15 The other dimension is uh, measured from here. The value is 75 minus 30. Values from the drawing, we don't create new dimensions. 75 minus 30. This is as it is. I don't know what is the difference subtraction we have a fully constrained sketch and we apply extrude for this area the other direction with the value of 26 visibility and we go further 
I continue with this channel 20 on 10 you see here by using this face a rectangle with uh, this midpoint over the midpoint of the that line dimension 20 on 10 20 10 finish sketch extrude I select this with the cut all the way to the part okay you see the result then I create this uh, extrusion to the left with the diameter of 24 and placed at uh, 75 from this face or better 30 from the plane you know this is the center point of this part this point in this view and this point in the other view and this point in the other other view okay the distance is 30 plane from the XY plane 30 sketch in this plane circle with diameter of 24 on the same vertical with the center point and at a distance of 30 finish sketch extrude to the part okay visibility now we create this volume with a shape of a slot dimensions are the plane at 28 from this plane and a slot aligned with uh, this uh, feature length 18 radius 8 and be careful this point is on the same vertical with the center point let's do this we use a plane this plane as a base and 28 is the distance of the new plane slot I draw a slot of uh, 18 on radius 8 multiplied by 2 you see a slot is uh, with diameter not radius good then I place on the same horizontal because this is uh, uh, the axis Z if you like I can apply horizontal between this point not this point I place horizontal between this point and this point and I place this somewhere here to do this I project this line and I make coincident this axis with the midpoint of that line now 
I turn back this and finish extrude to the part okay visibility now I want to create this internal volume with dimensions uh, 38 20 and 6 is this uh, counter bore I use uh, this axis F7 I draw a line from the center point to up then another line down right vertical and to the center point this is an axis this diameter is 38 why is this here I don't know this is 6 and this is 20 this is 20 we have a fully constrained sketch but these are not nice I like to have dimensions in a proper position revolve cut ok now there is a another hole with the counter bore dimensions are here 18 is the diameter 4 is the depth of the counter bore and this diameter is 12 I use uh, the tool hole with the counter bore solution and dimensions this is uh, 18 this is 4 18 4 12 and through all this goes through all now I select the face and I select the center okay good another hole is uh, this one centered on a side of the slot a radius a diameter of 8 and it goes only in this hole not outside take a look here this goes only here not outside like the other one this is through all the part dimensions I told you 8 centered in the slot hole simple simple dimension or 2 diameter is 8 the face is this the center is here and 2 is 2 this yes okay now we see these three holes of uh, metric 6 but this dimension is missing I place it right now this is diameter 
and I change the value with the metric 6 3 multiplied by metric 6 good this was missed by me no problem placed on a line at 5 millimeters I can uh, extend this line to see that they are on the same horizontal at 5 millimeters good face line 64 this is X to the right this means that I select this point with this point to be aligned 5 millimeters is this now I place three points one two three finish sketch and hole hole of metric six not eight but six and I select the surface this one my friends not this one because uh, it is not like here for you I can uh, uh, select this to see what happens yes I select this face and okay now you see this is the the end of a, a border and this is not okay double click and I select this face okay you see the difference good another hole is this one metric 6 12 16 placed in the other center of the slot okay hole threaded metric 6 but with a distance not full depth but 12 okay and here is 16 I select the face I select the center and we have that hole with uh, an end it doesn't go outside then I apply fillets my friends a lot of fillets all of them are radius 2 I hope I don't miss anyone two two millimeters two millimeters everywhere and also this is uh, two millimeter I hope this is uh, well okay I missed a fillet of two 
for this edge. Now I can try to see what is the volume. I properties physical update and copy close drawing double click and paste yes there is another uh, fillet I missed let me see what is that fillet let me see what I missed oh this you see here we have double click on this I don't add another uh, feature I complete this okay once again I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and now you have the same value I don't uh, keep this last because it is identical with the other one material is still cast still cast color is red and some uh, faces must be machined I select them by using the key shift you can select any other face you like I hope this is enough they are still polished I apply shaded without edges and we have the result let's compare the light is different because here I used default lights let me apply also default lights here yes now there is no difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye